Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is about the first international chess tournament held in London in 1851 and that is why the poem is named as 1851 London and the first of many. If you are taking the current situation, we can see that there are a lot of tournaments that are being organized and they are all extremely well conducted in the sense uh, taking care of the players or handing out a very good prize money, uh, being very accommodative in terms of the players' uh, families. It can be any of these things. Uh, we see that the standard is improving uh, day, day by day. Not only this, uh, we are also getting into the trend of uh, playing online tournaments. Now that chess has uh, become online, uh, especially considering um, the pandemic to make a hit uh, we see that there are a lot of online tournaments that are being conducted as well but what about the first ever international tournament what was it how was it and who won it uh, i just want to answer all these questions uh, through this small form there are uh, interesting things that happened in terms of this tournament the first and the foremost thing that i want to talk uh, uh, about this particular tournament is that the tournament was won by a player named Adolf Anderson, a German player named Adolf Anderson, and uh, he was not invited to the tournament. Uh, the other German player, German's number one player at that time, Lassa, was invited to the tournament, uh, but uh, the Berlin uh, Chess Club just took a decision of sending Anderson, not Lassa, and he went on to win the tournament, which is very rare. Now we see that all the players are invited. There are uh, rarely substitutes, and um, uh, of course, you can pick around two to three favorites, and they usually end up winning the tournament. And in this case, in the in the 1851 tournament, the tournament it's a, uh, was organized by Howard Staunton. This was uh, a very great achievement. He always dreamt of organizing a tournament, and we can we can assume that it might be very difficult considering that time, which was 1851. There are a lot of uh, factors that needs to be zeroed in and uh, I'm sure that Staunton might have found it very difficult but somehow he successfully conducted the first ever international chess tournament in 1851. Uh, Anderson um, uh, won the tournament and he was um, in um, great joy and not only him but uh, the entire country celebrated because uh, they considered this as a kind of a, a, a world championship event because all the best players in the world were invited and uh, Anderson um, went on to win. However, the, uh, many of the Russian players did not attend the tournament and there, were the, there was an invitation sent to a very good player named Saint Amant but he also did not participate. Nevertheless, the field was uh, pretty good and Anderson won the tournament. Anderson, even though he did not play uh, the famous game uh, against Kajetetsky, uh, it was in a friendly game versus Kajetetsky that Anderson played the immortal game of chess. Even though it was a friendly game, um, the game was recorded and uh, he went into the uh, immortal uh, game collection anderson was on the winning side of this immortal game collection and he also played um, uh, after this he played in berlin and there also he played a very great game it was that was called as evergreen game uh, which was anderson dufrin and uh, gary kasparov very recently picked that as one of his favorite ancient games which gives an indication about the quality of the player anderson was uh, the other last thing that I want to mention is Anderson faced uh, Howard Staunton, who was the favorite of the tournament in the semi-finals. And Anderson, to the surprise of many chess uh, fans, won against Staunton. And in the finals, he crushed Weibel. Weibel uh, was a, also a player. And Anderson crushed, and that's how he went on to win the tournament. Now, let us get into the poem and understand more about what happened in 1851, the first ever chess international tournament. Staunton had a dream of organizing a chess tournament with a great and worthy contingent. He used the great industrialist exhibition in London and with George Chess Club as companion, he sent invitations all around Europe, hoping for an enthusiastic group. The tournament finally took place in London. The format was knockout. The world was about to find out about who could stand out. Staunton was the was considered the favorite, though the field was elite. Adolf Anderson was to face Staunton in the semi-final, where a win was vital. 
To many surprise, Anderson won the match with ease and many of his plans he did please. He emerged winner even in the finals and made a statement with his results. Staunton being the tournament organizer had a trick in his armor. He challenged Anderson for a rematch but before one could witness the match, Staunton fell ill and the two titans could never showcase their skills. After this great result of Anderson, his compatriots arranged a coronation to honor his triumph over a great field of players and to appreciate his newly acquired status. Anderson made a lasting impression through the games which had aggression. The two memorable games out of his collection, one being called the Immortal Game, the other called as one of the Evergreen Games, has, has a special place in Chess Haven, both concluding with the bishop delivering mate on e7. Uh, thanks for your time and uh, before this I just want to mention one more point which I didn't mention. After Anderson won the tournament, Staunton was the organizer of the tournament and he uh, had the uh, clause of um, asking for a rematch and uh, unfortunately that did not happen because Staunton fell ill and Anderson had to uh, go back but nevertheless this also gives an indication about uh, the fact that the tradition of uh, rematch started from the very first tournament. A lot of uh, players, analysts uh, criticize the fact that this um, liberty should not be given and right now it is not. The world champion um, is going to face uh, the player who wins the candidates tournament but at that time even though the world champion lost there were some provision for rematch but now it's more or less fair and square and we can see that it also started from this very first tournament all right uh, so that's it from me uh, the two games about anderson that i mentioned in the poem one being called the immortal game and the evergreen game i'm going to be uh, uh, giving you the links in the description if you do want to check out thank you